What's up, everybody? Welcome back to a huge sports. This is Bayou Breakdown. We're joined by always by Jack Tune and Jack. I said it last time, man. Uh, we really messed ourselves up by doing the Miami Minute and Bayou Breakdown. This time last year, we thought our organiz- organizations were relatively stable. Not yeah. the case anymore. Uh, so first of all, how are you doing? And second of all, how's New Orleans doing? Um, I personally am doing okay. Uh, my fandom is not doing very well. Mm-hmm. Um, and New Orleans is definitely not doing very well. Um, yeah. yeah, it's not not been a good couple of days. A couple of weeks, let's say. <laughs> yeah, so obviously Sean Payton retired. That sucked. Uh, but hey, there's a yes. little bit of a bright light, right? We still got a talented roster here. We're going to get a new head coach. Uh, the Pro Bowl is happening. That's fun. It wasn't so fun this weekend, though, uh, after the Pro Bowl. No, not for not for Alvin Kamara. Um, that's for sure, I think. Want to kind of um, explain the situation there? Yeah, so um, basically what happened is after a night on the town, um, I believe it was technically Saturday morning, mm-hmm. um, the Pro Bowl was on Sunday. Saturday morning, Alvin Kamara at like 6.30 a.m. was like finishing up a nightclub stint with his girlfriend, assistant, whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, basically he and his buddies beat the shit out of this dude. Um, that's a good and way to put it. that's pretty much it. Um, that's pretty much what happened. Um, the police essentially were like, yeah, you can still play in the pro bowl. We're not going to come after you. Uh, so they let him play in the pro bowl. Um, and which, is so, which is such an insane that is thing. So dumb. <laughs> like, like, oh, I know this guy got the fuck beaten out of him, but it's fine. Alvin, you can play basically like they in the report they like basically the police were like yeah we saw um we saw we identified alvin Kamara and then didn't do anything for 10 hours and just like let it happen and let him play and then arrested him at the stadium after the game was over where we very well knew where he was the entire time so i stupid i, I, I don't know i don't i won't pretend to understand how police work but uh same, same. that that same. is an insane piece of information to me because when it came out that he was getting arrested, like, I think in our, our Wiki Sports group chat, I think Chris shared it, and I was like, wait, Alvin Kamara? I was just watching the Pro Bowl, like, yeah. two hours ago. What the? F- how did this already happen? He was happen? there. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, oh, it happened the night before, which is still an, even more insane. Yeah. Um, and what's even, well, like, the whole thing to me, I'm, I don't want to be conspiracy theorist here, but, mm-hmm. like, it just seems, if you read the police report, it seems a little weird. Um, I, it just seems like I don't know why they would attack him unprovoked like that. Um, I don't know why Kamara's bail was set at five grand. That doesn't seem like very much. Um, no, not at all. I the survey, the video basically said, uh, basically the police have said proof that like he was there and he did throw a punch at this dude. Mm. Um, but like it seems like it wasn't ultimately all that bad, and I don't know. I mean, this dude, don't get me wrong, the dude that got beat up is going to make a shitload of money. Like, he's yeah. he's going to be set for life, for sure. He got, yeah, he got, he got fucked up. I'll say that. <laughs> There's the picture he, that came out. He got, yeah. Yeah. Not good. <laughs> he's not bad. in good shape. He no. probably needs to get eye surgery. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. This, this is uh, real bad. And he's going to get some good money. Um, mm. it, Alvin was punching him, and then, like, his buddies like stomped on him for some reason. Like I, something happened, obviously. Yeah. I feel like you don't just do that unprovoked randomly at six thirty in the morning. Um, reports are saying that the guy might have been chirping him a little bit and just saying like I'm gonna beat you up, blah blah blah. I don't know some stuff like that. Yeah, uh, that's not what he said. Obviously, of course, it's gonna be he said, she said. Probably will be dismissed, and then Alvin Kamara yeah. will play football. Alvin Kamara will game. probably pay this guy money and, and so then that's it. get his face fixed, and then uh, yeah. Maybe a couple games suspension. I don't. I that's my like. Please, like, let that be it. Like, nothing more. I can't. Like, the next thing is like Michael Thomas will get random ankle surgery again for no reason. Um, and and then that's when I'll be done. That's when I'll be done. Yeah, that would be not good. So yeah, just a weird story. Um, Alvin Kamara also never struck me as like a guy Dude. who would do something like this. He seemed pretty chill and like cool. I don't know. I don't know. Like you said, there's there's more to the story, I think. Uh, That's kinda, maybe we'll find out. Maybe we won't. I don't know. Right. I don't. I want to see if that video ever gets released. I think it'll be um, interesting to say the least. Um, yeah. 
I don't know. I, I'm I'm with you. I feel like there's more to the story. I don't know. I don't know if we're not getting all of it or if it, it's ultimately just going to turn into a he said, she said thing. Mm. Um, but yeah, I mean, I loved Alvin. I don't know. A little up in the air right now on how I feel about him, honestly, because that's, that's a sketchy situation, really regardless of whether or not he actually did anything. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, I don't know. I'll, I'll leave it up to the courts, um, but uh, I would like to see Alvin on my team next year. Right. Yeah, no, I mean, let's be real. He's a big part of the Saints offense. So, uh, you know, who else would like to offense. see him yeah. on the Saints next year? Presumably Dennis Allen, the new head coach of the Saints. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I, I'll be honest, that was my pick. Uh, if Flores wasn't picked, that was my pick. Um, and obviously, Flores, you're all too familiar with what's going on with that. Yes. Um, so I don't think he's getting a job, at least this uh, well this year, I think. All head coaching vacancies are filled now. Yeah, um, but um, the Saints decided to promote from within. Uh, didn't end up going with Eric Bieniemy or um, uh, the Bucks OC. Um, Brian left. Left which, thank you. Um, and went promoter from within, Dennis Allen. Again, who is, he's really like anchored that defense very well. And as you can see, like you look at the defensive dudes, Cam Jordan, CJ Gardner Johnson, Marshawn Lattimore, um, Demario Davis, that whole collective group has been elite. Um, so, like, you know, he's doing something right. Um, I think we talked about this in our group chat. Same thing, like, it stays the same for the players. Like, it's not a culture change. You don't have to have some dude come in and try to switch it all up. It's essentially the same keep stuff. A lot of the assistants that were already there, like uh, easier. Yeah. To, I'm sure he's gonna want to build some stuff on his own, but you know, he has a good foundation with the right. coaching staff and with like the players and stuff. That's like, this does make the most sense for the Saints, and he's already been the head coach um, in, um, God, Sean Payton. Uh, Almost forgot his name. He's been gone two seconds now. Uh, in Sean, Sean Payton's absence, he's already served as interim head coach. So I think this is the move that made the most sense for them. I think so too. You know, he's got the experience doing it. Um, I think Bienemy doesn't even call his own plays on the Chiefs. So like, I was a little bit hesitant for that. As is, mm-hmm. um, yeah, I think Dennis Allen. He's still going to call the defensive plays. So he says, um, and he knows he's got like the most important decision of his coaching career is to get a good quarterback. Yes. Um, so whether that's Jameis, um, I would like it to be Jameis, mm. um, or Taysom. I don't know what he's going to do. But now that Peyton's gone, it'll be interesting to see what happens with Taysom because you know we have talked about it multiple times. Sean Peyton's hand won't be on Taysom um, for the next four years. I don't know. I don't know. I'm rooting for the Jameis reunion. Yeah, no, I think – um, I was actually just looking at Jameis Winston's stats before we came on. 14 touchdowns, three picks. He was playing. He, he really was playing quite well. That's like great. People, people forget. People forget quickly. But uh, he's a big reason why the Saints were on top of the NFC uh, South when he got hurt. So. Right. Yep. Yep. So we'll see here. Look, I was just going to say they, they played some tough opponents too. You know, like that wasn't mm-hmm. those weren't easy games. And he, he beat Aaron he... Rodgers. Uh, they beat Tom Brady twice. Right? Yeah. Like, yeah. even without Jameis Winston. With, like, half Jameis. Yeah. Yeah, with, like, yeah, one half the of quarter, yeah. play of Jameis Winston before he gets hurt. And then they beat Tom Brady twice. Right. Um If the Rams had just shown up the last game of the season, they make the playoffs. But then again, I, their quarterback situation was so Not good. terrible. I mean, that Monday Night Football game with Devin Brooks, Brooks whatever, or Ian Book. Ian Book, yeah. Oh, my God. It's in point. Yeah, that's. Just felt, at a certain point, you just felt bad for the kid. Just getting know. absolutely destroyed in way over his head. In that yeah. Game. I, you know, I'm not going to lie to you. I had a little bit of faith in Trevor Simeon mm-hmm. if we were to hit the playoffs, but like it was a very little bit. Like it was not a lot by any. I would take him over Ian Book, which is saying something. Yes. I, I was really high. <laughs> That's fair. Really, really high on Ian Book going into that game. And I'm not saying game, Ian Book can lower. never be a quarterback in the NFL, but he was just not, not ready um, no. for that game on a short week. Like, Oh. Just be like, all right, hey, you've literally never played in a game before. Here's Monday Night Football uh, against Look. a really like hot defense. Like that was just a recipe for disaster. They were. I remember. I think we can talk back on this too. But they said um, reports were out that Ian Book was throwing to receivers for the first time, like in pregame that game. I believe it. Yeah, yeah. It, you I just had never it. done it before. So, yeah. yeah, that that wasn't good. No. But. So. Let's Who's get game? that quarterback situation figured yeah. out, and then uh, now that Brady's gone, this 
this NFC South is wide open. Wide open. Yeah. Yeah. Looking forward to it. Honestly, it could be fun. Like if we get Jameis back, I think that's. I think I don't want to say it's a lock, but I think it's mm-hmm. pretty much a lock. I, I think I. They'd I be the favorites. Hearing, yeah. I mean, unless let's Aaron Rodgers comes to Tampa, which would be insane. But you can come to New Orleans if you want. He's, yeah, he's okay it's, just, <laughs> it's fine. Take it. Doesn't matter the whole well, immunization thing. Whatever. Water under the bridge. Let's fucking. We don't go care. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Throw on the twelve. We'll get you going. Mm-hmm. You're good to go. Mm-hmm. Um, Sorry, I, Ian. Was was that Ian's jersey number? I think he was sixteen. Oh, uh, like okay, some, right. like something even more obscure than twelve. Mm-hmm. But no, you're right. I mean, if Aaron Rodgers wanted sixteen, he could take it from me in book two. I don't yeah, care. Whatever. If he yeah, needs he the one it. from his jersey, take it. It's fine. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. I think I I keep hearing reports. I'm on a tangent here now, but I keep hearing reports about Jameis maybe going back to Tampa, and I don't think that's happening because they essentially no. were like, "Hey, you suck. <laughs> no way. No you stink." Way. Yeah. We don't want you anymore. Like, go to New Orleans for, like, a million dollar for a year contract, basically, mm-hmm. to learn under Drew Brees, whatever. Like, there's no shot he wants to go back there. That's all. That's just my thing. He didn't sign with the Saints because he wants anything to do with the Bucks. He signed with right. the Saints to get revenge. And, uh, you know. He kind of did. That's fair. I think, no way. Yeah, I think so. He threw that touchdown in the playoffs, too. That was sick. Yep. That was yep. Probably the highlight for the Saints in that game. but I would say so. Yeah, so. that's really it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think uh, burned bridges uh, between him and Arians as well. Hundred percent, hundred percent. So, I think I think there's uh, there's hope for us to get him back. I would love to see him back in black and gold. Yeah, I mean, it, it really does complicate things because we had talked about it uh, near the end of the season. Like Sean Payton was such a draw for any quarterback. I feel like to like come, so it's like maybe Russell Wilson will come, maybe right. uh, Aaron Rodgers will come, but without him, we'll see. But I still expect their defense to be good. So like, you could you could do a lot worse as a free agent quarterback right. than that's the so true. Saints, you know, yeah, you so. you have to go in and be a game manager basically and let the defense do the work, and mm-hmm. that's that's fine. That's okay. Yep, yeah, and maybe Michael Thomas plays next year. And is maybe who knows? Himself. Like, I can't forget he was like the best receiver in the league by like a good margin when he was healthy. So yeah. Yeah, it wasn't close for a while. No. And now we'll have to see what he looks like when he comes back. You're right. Mm-hmm. That's what it comes down to. Yeah, so anything else you want to touch on before we get on out of here for this one? Uh, definitely not. I'm done talking about the Saints. Hopefully for the foreseeable future. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to knock on wood. wood. Yeah, like, for let's, real. Let's uh, hope to at least OTAs, like at least till then, unless like Aaron Rodgers or Russell Wilson does sign with the Saints, then we sure, can right. hop back Even Jameis. I'll be pumped. Or even Jameis gets a new contract. Yeah, Yeah, please. Yeah, Sean, why'd you have to pay Taysom on your way out? What the fuck I was that? You, man. That was stupid. <laughs> that, was that was your worst really move as a head coach. really complicates Period. a lot of things. Like, oh, man. I'm so mad. <laughs> All right, Jack, where can they find you online? The place to find me is on Twitter, and that's at Jack underscore Tiernan. You can also follow my disc golf account, at Jack Disc Golfs, on Instagram. I will have disc golf content, as well as NBA and NFL content. Hopefully no Saints for a little bit on right. any of that. Um, but I'll get you covered on the other sports. Awesome. Go follow him there. Uh, you can follow the channel, main channel, youtube.com slash wicked everything. This channel, youtube.com slash wicked sports. I'm on Twitter at the fake me Martin. It's B-M-A-R-R. Channels on Twitter at uh, Wicked Good Sport or WG Everything, Instagram Wicked Good Everything, Twitch at twitch.tv slash Wicked Good Everything. Follow us on TikTok at Wicked Good Sports at Wicked Good Everything. Jack, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Brian, as always. See you all in the next one.